Hi everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me today. So um, I thought I would do a little bit of a video on um, basically colouring, painting or um, just working on a page in Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Bassford. So this is her new beautiful book with purple foiling. And so I have made a little bit of a start, so I'll explain what I've done on this page here so far. So what I did was, um, first of all, I worked with a pencil and a ruler and I took one centimetre from the edge because I didn't want to, um, I didn't, I thought it would be a bit difficult to get into this um sort of the binding part of the book and I thought it looked nice with a border so then I just measured one centimetre from the edges four edges of the book and then um, sort of gave it a border and then um, I used a stencil because I'm I just I cannot draw at all so um, I'm very basic when I do things so then I have this step uh, template and with this template I just um, decided to uh, sort of do something that appeared to look like some mountains there in the background so just did that with the stencil um, I went a step further then and thought why not choose a sort of um, why not have a moon there as well so then I got another template which is this circle template um, which I got from Amazon and I uh, drew that as well so I just went around the stencil and then I got my black acrylic paint which is the Decor Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black um, which has lasted me for ages and um, I just sort of did the background up to there um, in black and I've only used one coat so basically that's what I've done so far um, and I didn't think it was particularly interesting to do on camera so I thought I'd get, get it prepared like that. So the idea is it's like a floating sort of a floating island with a lighthouse at the top and then I wanted this to be something like a night sky. So the first thing that I want to do um, I think and this is like a bit of an experiment I used some um, white acrylic paint this is by Dale Rowney um, and then watered it down as you can see here in my palette don't know if you can see it there it is so it's watered down because um, I'm going to make something that appears a bit like stars so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to protect the other side of the page like so and then also protect my image a little bit and then anywhere where there's no stars what I'll do is I will just um, I'll just put in with with white Posca or a white gel pen I'll just put in the stars nearer nearer to it but I don't want it on the image so I'm just using a toothbrush this is a, like an old toothbrush head um, and then I'm just going to dip that in take off the excess actually um, I've not really done this before so if this goes wrong <laughs> it goes wrong um, so yeah and just flick it looks all right actually so far so far so good and then maybe see if I can I don't want to smudge it see if I can control it so I can actually do it if it does go on to the a little bit then it does but there you go hope you can see what I'm doing I know I'm not um, zoomed in too much but there you go so yep yeah, there we go and then on this side as well I'm not going to go over the pin maybe it's too watered down but we'll see I'm not going to get much on the picture and I'm going to go over the moon so I suppose it'll have to do there we go I think that will be sufficient maybe a little bit there there I'm going to sort of 
go with that okay so I think that that'll do so I'll put that to the side just to clean my finger it's got paint on it um, and then I'm just gonna let that dry or use a actually I'll go and use my um, the dryer thing whatever it's called heat gun that's it okay so this is where we're at so I think I've dried it it looks okay so now what I'm going to do is actually something that I should have done first is um, put in the lines but they're not going to be black lines they're going to be white lines so I'm going to use this Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen brush which is in white I have also got a 1.5 bullet tip version depending on um, which one seems to work better so what I'm going to do is if you go closer here you can see that this is a swing now I can't see the lines particularly clearly but I'm going to do my best and sort of um, just put that in there like that Maybe you should have done this first before the splattering technique, but it doesn't really matter um, doing it at this stage. And then here at the top, if you look at these um, sort of leaves and things here, I'm just going to put them in as where I think the lines are. I could have looked at a reference photo, but I'm not going to bother. It's not as opaque white as I would like, but it will do. Um, is there anywhere else? There's just this bit at the top here, the spire. I don't know if you'd call it a spire, because that's what you call the, the bit at the top of a church. Alright, so at the top of the lighthouse thing building at the top so there we go um, I think those are the though those, those are the only lines if I've forgotten something then we'll just have to live with it okay so basically this is what we've got so far I'm just going to come out a little bit more um, so you can see a bit better so that's what we've got now my next stage is to add some um some sort of northern lights okay so what i did is i looked online um I, I practiced by myself and then i thought why don't i just youtube and see what what there is so basically if i can find all my bits and pieces um which is going to be there we go found it so basically there's a technique that i found on a video online which i found was pretty good so I'm going to use that technique I will link it below because I can't remember the name offhand and um, we use a bit of torn paper like this I've just torn this with my hand um, I'll do another one here so just um, like that that's all I did with some paper I just tore some out and then what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the silky crayons which I purchased from Amazon. I was enabled by Emma Emma Colors 2020, um, and she showed these, and she was quite impressed with them. And then um, they are quite you know reasonably priced, so I thought I would get them. So I'm going to use my Aurora or Northern Lights. I want the colors to be bright green maybe another this green here is quite nice as well because it goes into a blue and then we'll go with a light blue as well maybe a light purple and a dark purple so we're just picking out colours at the moment um, yeah that'll do I think um, I could add a bit of pink in but that looks very similar to that colour, but it's a bit lighter. Right, so what they showed as as what they did is follow. So I'm going to just take my book out of the way. And by the way, I hope you're all well. I think I didn't 
sort of say that at the beginning but yeah, I hope you're all doing well and you've had a good Easter break and you know you're happy with um, how things are going in your life and if not, I hope you have a better time and whatever it is resolves um, if you're not. So back to the project. So now you've got the cut surface like this. What I'm going to do is, and this is how they showed it. In fact, what they used on the, I'm just going to put some of the crayon down. What they used is soft pastel. So if you haven't got these um, silky crayons or anything like it, um, I mean, you could use Faber-Castell Gelatos if you've got those. Um, but if you haven't got any of this, you can use soft pastel sticks. Or you can even use chalk. I think she was doing it with chalk or pastel or something like that. And we'll go, and you can just see all I'm doing is placing... Bring you in a little bit. Placing the colours underneath here, like this. And uh, I'm going to go all the way across, although I might not use it all the way across, but I'll, you'll get the idea once I show you. And then once we have that, I'm going to go back to our book and hope this works, because I've never done this before in, in a book. I've practiced it, but you know... That's different to actually doing it in your book. So um, I'm just going to place it on the paper and then I'm going to use my finger to just push the colour upwards. So maybe I should have brought you in a little bit again. There you go. So I hope you can see that. and it gives quite a good effect uh, so there we go and let's just oh we find it a little bit difficult to get in there so what I might do is just take my little finger and then maybe bring this oh look I got it a bit on the on the actual thing oh well um, I'm sure I can sort that out by doing a blue lighthouse and then over here I'm going to make it go See, these things happen and we just have to figure out another way of doing it. So, yeah, I smudged it. I think I smudged it with the paper, actually. So, see if I can get that off there a little bit. If not, it doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll, I'll man manage to cover it somehow. Um, and then I might do one here as well. So move my book out of the way and then I'm going to use this bit here and just put the crayon on so like I say unfortunately this is not one of my own techniques that I've discovered it's someone else's and I like I say I will link below because I think it is a quite a good technique there are quite a few um, different ways of doing the northern lights um, this being one of them. And so back we are. And then what we'll do is we'll probably do one um, here. So there. And then I might bring that in here again. I think that looks okay to be. It looks all right. Um, and then maybe I might even use some other colours. So let me just put my book to the side. I think we will use some pinks, that one, that one, um, yeah I think those pinks 
and purples might go well together so I'm going to do this end here I like this technique because it's quite simple oh I also wanted to say thank you to everyone um, who's watched my videos and has been commenting it's really nice to read your comments um, I appreciate the time you take as well to drop me a comment so back to our book and um, what we'll do is we'll um, maybe do it round here like this on this edge or should we start here actually let's do one there just the red and the pink off the camera do apologize oh I'm making the whole camera move as well oh I'm sorry about that right okay I think that is pretty much enough of the northern light sort of um, effect that I wanted so I'm just gonna clean my finger in some water I've got so I don't smudge it everywhere okay so I did get some here which unfortunately um, I don't want to get rid of so hopefully I'll be able to cover that but I am really liking how it looks okay so what I'll do is I'll go on to the next stage and see you in a sec okay so now this is where we're up to now the next step because i haven't quite finished with these i'll tell you what i'm going to do because you know me if you watch my videos i've got to have glitter and things like that um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually add some stars as well to the background so these are mirror ball stars by nuvo um pure sheen confetti and um i think i got this from tonic studios i've got like a clip paint over me and stuff so do excuse that if you see it um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach these now usually i attach it with a matte gel medium and i put that over the whole thing but this time i am not going to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually use the uh, nouveau smooth precision glue pen so i'm gonna give that a quick shake I'm also going to use to attach my little stars I'm going to use this which is basically a wax pen I actually got it for um, diamond painting it came in a pack and um, I thought it might be useful for this so what I'm going to do is take some of these stars out when I say some I like took out a bit too many there but anyway give them a little bit of shake so they're separated and then with my glue pen I'm going to shake shook it now so I'm going to attach these just come on glue don't want it to all come out so I'm just going to try it on some piece of paper there we go right just needed going a little bit there so I'm going to put my and then I'm just going to use this glue pen pick up my star and then and then as you can see it didn't stick <laughs> there you go see don't know where that went but let me try it again I've just picked it up and come on now it requires a little bit of trial and error definitely so there's that one star and I'm just going to keep adding just take the top out of my hands so I've got hands free to do this it's not wanting to come off this so this is not there you go right there we go so it's going to be a little bit I could pick them up with tweezers but I don't know where I've got 
I'll have to go and get some tweezers. So yeah, just the glue will um, dry clear. So might even take off the excess there actually. But yeah, it should dry clear. So I'm going to continue to put my stars on and then once I have done that I shall come back and we shall go on to the next bit of um, might as well pick them up this wax pen doesn't seem to be too great at letting go and then it sticks to me there you go right Okay, so um, I'll continue to do that and then I'll come back for the next stage. Okay, so I sort of figured out a technique. You can see I've added some stars there um, with the confetti. So I'll just show you one of them. So I'm going to put me attaching one of them. Put a little bit of glue on there. And then um, what I do with this wax pen is just pick up a um, star. And um, I pick it up so it's the, the actual confetti bit is um, sort of on the edge so it's overlapping so it's not in the middle directly so that when I place it down on here, so just bring you in there, when I place it onto the glue I can use my finger to just press it down and then that will um, sort of attach it. Um, the glue will dry clear like I say because uh, it is still wet um, and then yeah that's it I'm not going to put stars all the way to the bottom I don't think because I've got the the white acrylic sort of paint there so I'm not going to add the confetti right to the to the end so what I'm going to do now is probably work on the moon so I'll show you what medium I'm going to put on there okay, so we're going to work on the moon and the medium I'm going to use for the moon is this cosmic shimmer lunar paste and it's the moonlight pearl so again this was purchased on Amazon and what I'm going to do is just use my finger as I usually do the easiest thing um, I might need to use a, um, a brush as well because I've got a little brush here which is a 2-0. Again, this is something else that was, um, I purchased from Amazon as well. So I'm going to put the moon there and then go in even closer. I think that should be close enough, I'm hoping. So this is basically the lunar paste. You can see it's very silvery. And I'm going to take my little finger into it and I'm just going to spread it around I don't want to really go out of the circular shape so what I might do is um, clean my finger in some water give it a little bit of a dry and then go on to the brush now so you can see how sparkly that looks so maybe put that there so I'm not and then just for the edges use the brush so I don't really go out the line yeah hope everyone's doing well and you know how are things what are you colouring at the moment I'd love to know um, are you working in Johanna's new book this one The Worlds of Wonder if not which book are you working in or are you doing um, some diamond painting or other crafty project I'm on the Easter holidays at the moment, which are going to come to come to an end soon, unfortunately. 
um, but time seems to have gone really fast I just the day just disappears so quickly um, or at least I'm perceiving it to be that way okay so I think I've got the majority of that on there let's have a look yep so it looks really nice and shimmery and bright so yeah I've used a fair amount of media so far on this page I like to um, tackle the background on pages first usually unless I'm going to use soft pastel in which case I'll do it at the end um, but the first thing I usually start off with on pages is the background and um, it's just like I like to get it out of the way I feel like quite a lot of the pictures done then the page okay so I think just cleaning my brush off now um, I think that is basically done for that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry that with the heat gun and I shall uh, come back again as I'm going to put something else on it all right so what I'm going to do now is this is dry so remember I put the cosmic shimmer lunar paste which was the moonlight pearl um, one and so now I'm going to because that's just um, really nice and shiny but I want to use some silver by stampendous some silver halo mix glitter so i want to put that on top now again i'm going to use if i can find my glue there it is the nouveau glue um i'm going to just shake that and hopefully um just place that doesn't want to work this pen sometimes there it goes maybe I'm not squeezing enough I'm just gonna put blobs of that just randomly just in places so I've got some of that on there and now I'm just going to shake my silver glitter hill you can see how gorgeous that is it's just I haven't used it for a long time and I really did want to use it so on that goes and then I'm going to shake the excess off hopefully that will have come out okay now I'll have glitter everywhere but there you go this is the pricey pay for glitter so it's just giving it some extra pizzazz which is what I was after 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 making my own language up here and then I just put the excess back into the um, so there are quite coarse pieces in this glitter um, so you've got glitter of different sizes so now that's nice and away we have um, that which I'm quite pleased with I think that looks quite nice um, some excess glitter may, might come off I've actually got some on here so I'm just going to shake my book off like that so that's what we've got so far just take, bring it out a bit so you can see the whole thing there we go so that's what I've got at the moment now the next thing I think the only other thing that I want to do for here for the northern lights is I want to add some I was going to add loose glitter but the the gel the silky crayons I used make it a little bit sticky so I thought I won't get a clean line so instead I'm going to use stickles glitter glue so these are the colours that I've got I've got a few that I've pulled out basically and um, I just want to I just want to place some underneath so I'm going to choose for this bit here on the line if you have a look 
there's a there's a line there on the bottom edge um, and I want to put some stickles glitter glue there so I'm going to work on a little bit I'm just going to choose my stickles glitter glue colors from my selection um, that will leave and then we'll go with that blue and that blue and maybe some mermaid okay so I'm going to do a bit on camera and a little bit off camera but I'll show you how I start it off so so I'm going to start off with this one which is C form and I'm just going to place it just on the bottom edge like that I'm just going to change it to my next stickles colour in fact what I should have done is worked the other way but it doesn't matter from the other side it's a bit difficult to see where I'm going and then a bit of blue So that's that one and then a bit of waterfall like that okay and then I'm also going to use some cosmic and some mermaid tail I think so let's go with the mermaid tail here So yeah, I, I hope to uh, colour this, oops, <laughs> that could have gone very wrong then when it rolled over but I was just saved by some miracle. Um, I am going to hope to colour the, the actual picture itself on camera um, so that if anybody wants to colour along then that would be good. Right, so I'll do the rest off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so that's the stickles done and um, it's looking very shimmery but the thing is it's still wet because um, I'm just continuing to do the rest of the background now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with these mountains. So I've decided to do them in a metallic Calero Fine Tech paint um, which is going to be blue pearl. Um, I might use green pearl as well but I'm not 100% sure so I've put some water on there and I'm just going to mix up the paint so it's nice and thick or thick enough for me to use it really that's all I need it to be and then I'm just going to um, sort of put that onto the mountain range I might not do the water in this video, the water that's below there, I might leave that for next time. So bring you in a little bit just so that you can see applying this paint. So it's a pearl paint from Calero. so basically what it looks like is in certain light you can see the blue tint the metallic blue tint so I want it to have the appearance of sort of being white but there being a little bit of a tint of colour so that's basically the idea I might need to give it another coat depending on how it comes out so many years ago I wouldn't have tried any of these sort of things in my book when I first got into colouring and Johanna Basford's Secret Garden was the first book that I ever got um, I wouldn't even use water like you know water based media in my book um, because it just I don't know it just 
I thought I'd spoil my book but then I've developed into a, a person who throws everything now at the, the um, pages in the colouring book um, so it's quite strange how you develop so I can't believe it right now it's actually snowing outside so it's April um, and yeah it's actually snowing so it's quite cold outside at the moment I was expecting spring type weather but um, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon so you might not be able to see properly the um, the actual colour until I hold it in the light So yeah, I will hopefully do a colour and chat um, slash colour along for when I colour this um, floating uh, lighthouse island. So this is my first coat on. And I'm just going to let that dry and then probably apply a second coat and then I'll, I'll come back and see where we're up to. Right, so this is how my page looks like at the moment um, with what we've done in this session. So um, background done. I'm quite pleased with it. I think it looks um, quite nice. Um, and I like the way that the moon looks as well with the glitter. I hope you can see the shimmer of the paint the blue tint at least um, on the mountains um, and yeah the rest of it um, is going to be mostly pencil work maybe some gel pen um, but we'll see for the actual uh, island itself and the and the water so hopefully I shall see you in the next part of this video I hope you've enjoyed this video until next time take care bye <laughs>